Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are here with all kinds of Aldi stuff. I went there just for a few things and I ended up buying all kinds of things. I got some great stuff here. Um, I have noticed um, if you have Aldi in your area, they're starting to put out some of the German stuff that they don't have all the time. Um, I got a couple of things from that, but they had all kinds of neat looking stuff. And they even have some stuff in the frozen food section that you might want to check out. I didn't get any, any of the frozen stuff, but I may try some of it later. Right now I have, I have lots of stuff. Um, I'm probably have to, gonna have to pause halfway through and bring the rest of it up because the table's just covered in stuff. But we're gonna start with the crinkly things first. I try to do those first just to kind of get them going, you know, and so, so they're not later on. I like to try to make it quieter as we go. So I like to get the noisy stuff first. Um, and I have quite a few crinkly things here. I have, now this is not all we eat. I always have to give that disclaimer. This is not all we eat. I have other stuff in the refrigerator. I have some cheese and milk and eggs and meat. All that stuff's in the refrigerator. I'm not gonna leave that sitting out, but this is just stuff that I didn't feel as, you know, I'm fine leaving it out for a minute. One thing I got, this is a crinkly thing. These are Clancy's nacho tortilla chips, nacho cheese flavored. And these are very popular here. Honestly, I want to say for these and the sour cream and onion, um, I think they call them stackers. They're kind of like Pringles. I think they're better than the actual brand. Like, I think these are better than Doritos. Honestly, the flavor is a little bit better. Now, this is an 11 ounce bag of nacho cheese flavored tortilla chips and they are from Clancy's. Now Clancy's is the Aldi brand and they make all kinds of snacks. They make chips like these and crackers and if you don't know what a tortilla chip looks like they have a little window here that's shaped like the tortillas and you can see the little clear window and you can see the tortilla chips in there. So I got these and I, one thing I really like about these is they're really cheap. Now it's different everywhere, but at the Aldi I go to, these are norm, these are normally about 75 cents per bag. They're always less than a dollar. So I think it's a good deal. And they're really good. And they also they also come in a ranch flavor. So these are going to be like the cool ranch Doritos. Um, they're okay. Personally, I'm not a big Cool Ranch Dorito fan. I mean, they're all right, but I think these are good to me. They taste just like Cool Ranch Doritos. These are also 75 cents. Now, each of these bags has the weight down here. They're each 11 ounces a piece. Um, and I love, I love the color of this bag. It's so pretty. It has that pretty blue and it just gets darker as you go down like that. And they're really good. Let's set these down. Okay, what else have I got? This was a new thing. Now, one another thing I really like about Aldi is they have things um, periodically that you can't get all the time, which is kind of bad if you find something that you really like. They don't have it year-round, but they have these seasonal items. And I've noticed if you like their gravy, uh, they have the gravy available again. It wasn't available all summer, but when I was in there today, they had it again. It's over with um, beef stock and mashed potatoes and stuff like that. It's really good. Oops. I have so many things up here. Now, this is an item they don't have all the time. This was one of the items on one of their seasonal aisles where they have seasonal food. It's not on the AOS aisle of shame. It's not that one. My store has an AOS and then they have another aisle just past that where they have food items that they don't have all the time. It's just seasonal stuff. And they have started putting out Halloween stuff. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. Now these are also from Clancy's. They are crinkle cut, pulled pork flavored, Kettle chips, pit master. I don't know if they're saying this pig is the pit master, because if he is, that's cruel. That's like some Jeffrey Dahmer stuff right there. I don't know who the pit master is. 
I kind of doubt it's the pig, but yeah, it's 2020, so it's possible. Um, so they're gluten free. This is an eight ounce bag. They weren't much. I think they were $1.99 or something. I spent more at Aldi today than I've spent in a long time. I think I spent about $115, which for me is unheard of. I never spend that much. But they look yummy. Look, they're like wavy lays. They have the big waves to them, the ripples, you know, like ruffles kind of. Um, and I love pulled pork, so I was really curious to see if these taste like pulled pork or not. Um, if you ever come to Central North Carolina, of course in Lexington, there are lots of places to get really good barbecue. Uh, Lexington is world famous for barbecue. Um, but there's a place in Jamestown, North Carolina. It's called Black Powder Smokehouse. They just opened, I think this year, earlier this year. They have the best pulled pork. Oh my goodness. I think I did a video with food from there. It's delicious. It's so good. <laughs> See, what they did was they took an old Esso gas station and they converted it into a barbecue restaurant. It's a smokehouse. It's really cool. So if you're ever in Jamestown, you should definitely check it out. And of course, uh, Southern Roots, which is my favorite restaurant, is also in Jamestown. If you want some real southern food, if you've never had any and you're in this area, definitely go to Southern Roots because you will get some fantastic southern style cuisine there. Okay, so anyway, I love uh, pork barbecue, pulled pork. So I'm really curious to see if these little Piggy Pitmaster pulled pork chips taste like it. I mean... I like barbecue potato chips, but usually to me they don't really taste like barbecue. I mean, they're good, but they don't taste like barbecue. Okay. I did not plan this out too well because I have some stuff over there that's crinkly and I don't know how I'm going to reach it, but I'm going to get it. Now here is a, a staple in my house. These are hamburger buns and they're from Love and Fresh, which is an Aldi brand again. You get eight pre-sliced hamburger buns in here. And these are only, I think they're 85 cents for a package of eight. And look at that pretty blue border. They, um, that's a loud vehicle. Well, I don't recognize it. They put their, their bread in thicker plastic bags, which I really like. A lot of store brands use that really thin plastic that tears so easily. They don't do that at Aldi. They use really nice, high-quality plastic bags. And for scanning efficiency with most Aldi items, you will notice that they have barcodes on multiple sides. Like there's one here, there's one here, one here. That way, they can just kind of sling everything across that scanner and they get everything scanned faster that way. So they can get you out faster. Usually when I go in there, they're ringing that stuff up as fast as I can put it on the conveyor belt, and I, I, I can't keep up with them. They're so fast. Okay. And then, of course, I can't go to Aldi without my Love & Fresh loaf of classic white bread. My son wanted some uh, grilled cheese sandwiches, so I told him I would get some bread. And he likes this bread for the grilled cheese sandwiches the best. Um... It works great. I really like it. But look at this big loaf of bread. And it has this beautiful blue label on it. Look at that. And up here too, just like the hamburger buns. See, it has that pretty blue. And then you have that nice little dark brown stripe in the middle. It's pure art. I, I've noticed too, Aldi is the only place I've seen that uses these khaki colored bread ties. Now, I think they use different colored ties for different days of the week. This is the only store I've ever seen that uses bread ties that are khaki colored. I just thought that was cool. I noticed it last week. The first time I've ever paid attention to it. Or it could be the first time they ever had it. I don't know. It was probably just the first time I noticed it. Okay. And I wanted a tomato sandwich. Now I did learn from, and I saw it a lot in my last sandwich making video. Lots of people have never heard of tomato sandwiches. I made a whole video on it. It's a, a common thing in the South to, uh, you just take two pieces of bread, and everybody does them differently. The way I do them is I put Duke's mayonnaise on each piece of bread, 
a little bit of salt, sometimes a little bit of pepper. Yeah, I put the salt, I'll put the slices of tomatoes on the bread after you put the mayonnaise on there. And then you put a little salt on it and you put it together and you eat it. And it's really good, but a lot of people thought it was ridiculous. But anyway, I wanted a tomato sandwich. But the best tomatoes are at the farmer's market, but I don't feel like going all the way to the farmer's market. There's Olive. She's come to see me. Hey, look at, look at the kitty. Olive. Okay, I had to remove Olive. My son is upstairs keeping her entertained. She's gotten so big. Did you see that? She's so big. My goodness. She's just taken over Evie's job of coming up here to say hello, I guess. Evie's actually sitting in the backyard right now. She's sitting on the little concrete patio back there. Just uh, being a good kitty. Okay. I was talking about tomatoes. So anyway, I really wanted a tomato sandwich, but I didn't want to go all the way to the farmer's market to get a good tomato. So um, I bought these at Aldi. Now these are beef steak tomatoes and they're from Nature Sweet. You get three of them in here, and they're only $1.99, and you get all three of these in here. And they're actually pretty good. Um, they're a little better in the summertime. In the winter, they don't really have as much flavor. And honestly, you know, when you get used to homegrown tomatoes, these just don't taste as good. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, and I don't feel like driving to the <laughs> farmer's market. So I will take what I can get. So that way, see that way, I can use... It would take one tomato to make my sandwich, and then I can save the other two for salads, or um, we're gonna do tacos one night, so maybe I can cut them up and put them in there. So those are my beef, beef steak tomatoes. I'm not really sure why they're called that, but they are. Okay, so I was telling you, they have Halloween stuff. They have some decorations. Let me show you those. Now, they have window clings, the little gel clings. They have some for Thanksgiving and Halloween, and they're on the AOS, the Isle of Shame. I got two for Halloween. See, the way I understand it, they're kind of going back and forth on trick-or-treating this year. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I wanted to go ahead and be prepared in case it does happen. So if we do get some kids to come, I think regardless, even if they ban it, I think people are going to do it anyway. They're just, they're going to come out regardless. I wanted to have some candy and, and put out my decorations anyway, even if it doesn't go like it normally does. Um, so I found these window clings. I thought these were cool. So here's one. And see, it's like blood, it's like blood splatters. I'm getting a glare. And then you have this giant it's called a fall gel cling. I wouldn't call it fall, but it was with the fall gel clings. Um, Huntington Home Harvest. Don't tell Harvest she'll have a fit. But it's in the blood down here. It's written beware. And you have a skull that's a gel cling. I think these were, I think they were $1.99 each. I got that one and this one. And this one's not all bloody or whatever. Oops. It says trick or treat. And it has some little candies. Look, these little gel clings are separate. But you put them together and you can make a little candy corn. And a lollipop and some little stars. And here down here is a little green piece of candy. Pink and purple. So I thought I could <clears throat> I could do a couple of my windows. Just put, just put those up and... Um, Maybe do a few little decorations outside. Nothing big, but... And I'm not going to do it now because we have a hurricane headed our way. The next couple of days are going to be um, interesting. But yes, we have that, that... I think it's Sally is headed our way. It should hit sometime tomorrow, I think. But anyway, at least I won't have to water my grass for a couple of days. Okay, so they have out... Um, they don't have out Halloween decorations. Now, I do remember last year they eventually did put some out. Uh, they have out fall decorations, and they do have some, like, uh, doormats, the, the rough doormats for Halloween. 
they don't have any other decorations out yet but i bet they're coming but they have the candy they have the candy out oh my goodness they have a shocking amount of candy i mean the variety is amazing they have all these different big bags of different types of candy i started with this one big bag that had snickers and milky way and stuff like that in it and twix i think but then um I spotted some more candy in another part of the store and they had different mixes so I decided to just get two smaller bags with different mixes in them to give me even more variety so and, and I'll get some um, non non candy items to put in there I'll put in there like some bouncy balls or you know just things that aren't candy so stuff like that but for right now I was just getting the candy look at this this is a neat mix right here. Now, this this bag, I think it was $9.94. You get 100 pieces of candy. You get Hershey's Milk Chocolate, Almond Joy, Whoppers, Milk Duds, Kit Kats, and Reese's Cups. Let's see. <clears throat> now, that's two pounds and two ounces of candy individually wrapped you're gonna get 100 pieces in here and they had several other mixes like this I just decided to go with this one because I thought this was a nice mixture you have some you know like little candy bars and then you have the chocolate covered caramel you have malted milk balls you have the, the coconut and almond candy bar you know it's I think I think it's just a nice mix of those and uh, I think there would be something there for most kids. Of course, if you have a chocolate allergy, you would have to <laughs> skip all this. But I, like I said, I'm going to have other stuff in the in the bucket too. So that's one bag that I got. And then I picked this bag. Look at the big scary face. Now this one was also $9.94. Now, it is only 75 pieces, though. You get Snickers, peanut butter, M&M's, Skittles, and then just regular Snickers. <clears throat> it's heavy. It's 2 pounds, 2.95 ounces. So, you do have the Skittles. So, if you don't like chocolate, you can maybe grab a pack of Skittles. Um, and I'll probably throw in, like... Um, I might get a little pack of some Starburst or some Smarties, something like that, and put it in there. So we'll have even more variety. If you, you know, if you don't want Skittles, maybe you can find something else. And if we don't get any trick or treaters, we'll just have lots of candy. That's the one bad thing about not having an office to go to. See, last year we had some leftover candy, and I, I didn't want to leave it here because I said if I leave it here, we're all just going to eat it, you know, and just get it out of here see I could take it into the office and just leave it in the break room and you know it was gone by lunchtime it was all eaten up I don't have a break room to put my stuff in anymore I noticed they had something different this year and I got it because I'm a big fan of the Aldi chocolate it's usually from Germany it's really good now this was only I think this was only like $3.75 for this bag. It's a uh, one pound, 4.25 ounces, and has about 35 bars in it. Shokur Legends Fun Size Mix. And they had several different types of um, little packages of these candies. Now we have nougat and caramel, cookie and caramel, and nougat and chocolate. And I, I love their chocolate. It's so good. Oh my goodness, it is so delicious, and it's very inexpensive, too. Oh, and yeah, peanut and caramel. I don't know if I said that a minute ago. So you have one, two, three, four types of little chocolate bars in here. Let me see. Yep, it was made in Germany. And it even has the Aldi twice as nice guarantee. If you don't like it, they will give you your money back and replace it. But I have no complaints with their chocolate. I love it dearly. And I'm, of course, I'm going to try one of each of these, I'm sure. Well, i got to make sure it tastes good. I don't want to put it out. you got to have good quality control. It's very important. So I thought we would just stick some of these in there. 
I imagine a lot of kids would pass those over for the Snickers or the Hershey's or the Reese's or whatever. Um, honestly, I think that chocolate's better. I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me on that. I would rather have that chocolate than the other stuff. Okay, it's crinkly stuff. So like I was saying, so they have German week stuff. And I looked over everything. They had a lot of really yummy looking stuff. I only got two things though. Here's one. I got, and I, I don't speak German, so this is Deutsch, Deutsche Kuch, Kuch, I don't, I don't know, I don't speak German, but um, these little potato sticks, um, hash brown style, naturally flavored. I used to love potato, the little potato sticks, you know, you get them in the can, I used to love those things when I was a kid. Every now and then my mom would get me some, I thought they were so good. They're in a pail, I just noticed that, look, they're in a pail. <laughs> Like in a little metal bucket. I don't know why, but they had some different flavors. These are just the hash brown style. Um, and I know when they do German food, I think they just call it German week, and they feature all different kinds of uh, German foods and drinks and things like that and beer and, you know, German week. And it always reminds me of um, that episode of Are You Being Served? And the title of the episode is German Week. You can actually watch it on YouTube. It's really funny where Grace Brothers, you know, dedicated the men's and ladies wear section. I don't know if it was the whole store or if it was just men's and ladies apparel to German goods, German clothing and everything. And the episode is just hilarious. <laughs> I, I love that show. I've been watching it since I was a kid. It's so funny. But every time they do they, every time they do German Week, it makes me think of that episode of "Are You Being Served?" <laughs> but um, so I'm looking forward to trying the hash brown style potato sticks. But they I saw they had at least a couple different flavors of those. But I wanted to just get the plain ones. And this thing is heavy. It's very dense. Here from Do Deutsche Kuch or whatever it is, we have a marble pound cake. It's very, it's heavy. That's dense. Oh, I bet it's so good. They had different flavors. They had um, marzipan and lemon and this marble pound cake. And I love pound cake. I don't eat it very often, but this was very inexpensive. I think it was $2.99 for this thing. And I really wanted to try it. See, it has the man in the high castle up there. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Sorry, it does. But yeah, 14.1 ounces, almost a pound. So it's kind of a pound cake imported from Germany. And I bet it's really yummy. So I'm gonna try that too. And they, they had some stuff in the frozen food section that looked really good. All different kinds of, they had desserts. They had some pies and some um, like main dishes that you can bake at home and some yummy stuff. I do have another crinkly thing. This is very crinkly. Oops. Okay. Now, Love and Fresh also makes pretzel hamburger buns. Now, my older son loves pretzel rolls. They don't have these all the time. These are four pre-sliced baked buns. Handcrafted. Artisan. And they are good. They don't have the big pieces of salt on them, which is nice because they get everywhere. But you can get four of these. They're a little pricey. I think they're $2.99, but pretzel rolls typically are kind of, they're a little expensive. This is a 13.6 ounce container of pretzel rolls. I'm not a huge fan, but my older son, he, he has said if they ever get those back, please bring me some because he loves, he'll just eat them like this, just like they are. He doesn't put anything in them. So they had these today from Love and Fresh, and so I got some. So it's L apostrophe O V E N, Fresh, and then you have the little L F emblem, and that's on all the Love and Fresh items, like these pretty pretzel buns. Okay, let me see what's back here. We have oatmeal cream pies. It takes a while for these to go away. These were very popular for a while, and then everybody just stopped eating them completely. I think everybody got sick of them. 
Um, they're from Little Debbie. This is not an Aldi brand, obviously, but um, yeah, they, they're a little cheaper at Aldi than they are at Walmart, which is, I typically get, I get all of the groceries I can from Aldi to save money, but whatever I can't get there, I go get at Walmart. And um, so they're a little bit cheaper. They're normally a dollar ninety nine, but you can get them at Aldi for I think they're a dollar seventy nine. So it's a little bit cheaper. You get twelve individually wrapped sandwich cookies. It's one pound, zero point two ounces, and they're not that big in real life. They are enlarged to show the detail. You can see it's a chewy oatmeal cookie with cream filling. So you just have the little sandwich. For the oatmeal cream pies and these are the smaller ones you can actually get larger ones not at aldi aldi only has these but they make some that are just massive like you could freeze it and hit a person and probably knock them out they're like that big around and they're very heavy it's like a little a little clay pigeon or something i could do target practice with it they're too big though i, I, can't, ugh, I can't eat that much these, the little ones are the perfect size, in my opinion. Now, I also got some broccoli crowns. So, these are just the tops. Now, this is a new item at our Aldi. You may have had them for a while. This is something that we just got. So, you can get the regular stalks of broccoli, or you can just get the crowns right here. And I wanted to make some uh, cheddar broccoli with that. Look how pretty they are, like little trees. They have light green polka dots. I'm hoping it won't kill us. I don't know. I hope it's not deadly. It's probably nothing. I'll, I'll just steam the daylights out of them first. So these are the broccoli crowns. And they were $1.86 for all these broccoli crowns. That is, and it's, the broccoli's good. It's, it's cheaper than any other store in my area, at least. There's no store around here that can beat that price and then I also wanted to do some fried squash and zucchini I don't know if you've ever done that here's the zucchini right here these are from fresher 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 farms by Aldi lovely zucchinis and these were only a dollar ninety nine for these three here um, I don't know how much it weighs 1.94 pounds for that. So what you do with the squash and the zucchini, you wash it and then you slice it up and then you can just, usually I'll just put them on a big plate and I make a mixture of olive oil and seasoned salt and I take a brush and I just brush it on both sides of the cut up zucchini and uh, um, squash and then you just fry them in a pan and uh, until they're nice and golden brown and eat them while they're warm. I actually, I made a video doing that too. I made a video frying squash and zucchini. But yeah, so I got some, some zucchini and they come in these packages like this. So you can't pick the pieces. You just, I guess you just pick the pack that looks the best. So I got that zucchini and this, look at this squash. It's, it's huge. Look at this squash. Like, you could use that as a bowling pin. It's so big. Look at it. Wow. And this was also 1.94 pounds for the big squash. So, same thing as the zucchini. You just cut it up or wash it. Cut it up. And you just paint it with a mixture of olive oil and seasoned salt. And then you just fry it. It's really good. It's very simple. Really quick. You don't have to fry it for a long time. You just want to fry it until it's kind of golden brown. It's not going to be crunchy. It, it loses that crunchiness. I think it's good. Okay, let me see. These have become popular around here again for a while. My older son quit eating these, and then he started eating them again. Now, this is also from Love and Fresh, and you will notice that it comes in this really pretty bag and it's kind of a Carolina blue color. Look at that. It's not the dark blue of the other stuff. It's kind of a lighter blue. Love and Fresh. You get six pre-sliced bagels and these are blueberry flavored. He doesn't like the other ones. They have um, they have cinnamon raisin, plain, 
uh, I think they have everything bagels and then they have blueberry. Every now and then they'll have different flavors just as a limited time thing and then they go away. But he really likes the blueberry bagels. Now that is one pound, four ounce. So it's the, the same as the loaf of bread. And these are only $1.49 per pack. And they're big. Look how big these bagels are. And you get six of them. And they are good. They are very yummy. I've start, I'm not doing the low carb thing anymore. I did it for about two years. And then I don't really have a reason. I just felt like stopping for now anyway. I just I just didn't feel like doing it. I don't I don't have a it wasn't like a journey and you know like Forrest Gump I was running and then had an epiphany or anything like that. I just decided I didn't want to do it anymore. So I, I like Forrest Gump. I'm I'm tired now. I'm I'm going think I'll go home and I just quit doing it. Um but yeah, so I've started eating one of these in the mornings for breakfast when I'm doing my work. I'll just sit there and eat one of these. I don't heat it up. I just eat it right out of the bag. They're really good. I don't put cream cheese on them or anything. I just eat them like they are. Ooh, that's noisy. Everything I got is noisy somehow. This is a nice item. Look at this little cube. It's like a giant sugar cube. In plastic. These are Boulder Premium All Occasion Napkins. They are comparable to Vanity Fair. I don't know anything about Vanity Fair napkins. I don't think I've ever bought them, so I can't really compare them. I'll take their word for it though. Boulder is an Aldi brand. They make all kinds of paper products. They make paper towels. Um, they also make plastic uh, bags, like little Ziploc bags. I have some of those too. I don't have to buy these too often, but they're only $1.49 per pack, and there are 100 two-ply napkins in here. Um, we don't go through a lot of napkins here, but every now and then they do come in handy. So these Boulder Premium napkins are the ones for me. I usually get them at Aldi. Um, every now and then I'll buy napkins elsewhere, but this is a really good deal, in my opinion, and they're really good napkins. They're nice and durable. So those are the napkins for us. Now I have something way over here. For taco night, I have our giant flour tortillas. They are the large burrito size. Now these are from Pueblo Lindo. It's not loving fresh. These are, they're really good. Um, they also have some uh, low carb flour tortillas that are very good. I, they are fantastic. And they're also very high in fiber. If you don't care about the carb thing, but you're looking to increase your fiber, I would definitely recommend that the Pueblo Lindo low carb flour tortillas. They're they're good. They're really good. They don't taste any different from these. To me, they taste exactly the same, but they are really high in fiber, so it's fantastic. But these come in a resealable pack, so you open them up down here. It's in a little Ziploc bag, and you can just open it and take out what you need. There are eight in here. That will do us for... It will get us through one dinner and there, there will be some left over. So then maybe the next day if somebody wants one for lunch or something, if I have any of the stuff left over, they can make one for lunch the next day. So yeah, they're really good. We just make giant uh, tortilla, um, soft tacos with these. Just like a soft shell taco. And you know, I just, I look in the refrigerator to see if there's anything in there I want to use up. Like if I have some lettuce. We'll put lettuce, tomatoes, some shredded cheese, which shredded cheese was one of the things I meant to get at Aldi, and I forgot it. That's okay. I'll probably be back there in a day or two anyway. Another popular thing here, clementines. Now, these are called Mandy's, tiny and tasty. That one's kind of green. These are really cheap. Let's see, was it three pounds? I think it's a, yeah, it's a three pound bag of little clementines and they are so delicious. And these are really inexpensive at my Aldi right now. They're only $2.29 for a pack like this. 
and they are so good. Oh, they're very juicy and very tasty. They're a product of Peru. Okay, they're really good. I love them. So, I got a pack of those, and I got grits. Now, I imagine that not every Aldi is going to have grits. I'm not really sure how far Aldi goes. I know they're building new stores all the time, but when I lived in Illinois, and I don't, I don't know that there are any Aldis in Illinois. There may be. I couldn't find grits in Illinois. It really bugged me. I live north of Chicago. I could hop on the train and be in Chicago in about an hour. Nobody up there had grits. And people would say to me, well, just get cream of wheat. It's the same thing, isn't it? And I, my brain about turned inside out. It's different. Cream of wheat's like wallpaper paste. I don't want to eat that. No, grits is made of ground hominy. It's a type of corn. They dry it and they grind it up. Now, there are three kinds of grits. There's uh, regular grits, quick grits, and instant grits. Now, I prefer regular grits, but regular grits, you usually have to go to, I don't want to say a specialty store, but usually smaller, like mom and pop stores will have regular grits, so like stone ground grits. Those you have to boil for about 10 minutes. The quick grits you can cook in five minutes. And the instant grits comes in little packets, and it's basically you just add hot water to them and they're done. Uh, quick grits are pretty good. I like them. I prefer the regular kind, but these are good too. Now, everybody makes their grits differently. I just add a little bit of butter and sugar to them, and uh, not sugar, butter and salt. I don't like sugar in grits. Butter and salt, and that's it. Some people add gravy, they'll add cheese to them. You can do them any which way you want to. It looks like somebody's put chives on them and pepper. I just like salt and butter. But these are a nice little quick, inexpensive little meal where you can add it to something else and eat it. So I got a little container of grits. Now this was an item. Now this was on the seasonal food aisle. I have never seen these at Aldi before. They're fried apples in a can. Now, they're from Sweet Harvest. Don't tell her it says that. I do like fried apples, and I was curious about this. It's fried apples with cinnamon. And I just, I've never had fried apples out of a can. I was just really curious. I had to try that. So I thought I would get these and heat them up and try them. They have no artificial preservatives or ingredients. About three servings per container. But yeah, I haven't had fried apples in a long time, but I thought when I saw these, I would try it. So if you like fried apples and you have an Aldi near you, you might want to check out the seasonal food aisle. Now, it's not with the regular canned goods. It's going to be over on the seasonal food aisle. You may have to kind of look for it a little bit. I just happened to spot it. Um, so I'm going to try this and see how they are. Oh, and I got these. I was going to tell you about these. They have from H52 blackberries. Look at these pretty things. They're not raspberries, these are blackberries. And I used to, when I was a child, where I grew up, we had blackberry briars, you know, blackberry briars everywhere. And we would go out and pick blackberries. We would take out a big bucket. We'd each take a bucket and go pick blackberries all day. You get eaten up with mosquitoes, but come home with a bunch of blackberries. And my mother, used to stew blackberries and you can can them if you want to you just take your blackberries you know clean them off you know wash them put them in a, a little a little pot with some water not you not to put a lot of water in there and add sugar to it to taste you bring it to a bowl and you just kind of let them sit in a low simmer and just stew the blackberries in that water and sugar and then it becomes kind of like a little blackberry soup and it's sweet and it has that nice blackberry taste. Mm, it's really good. So it's just stewed blackberries. So I bought these to make some stewed blackberries with. Just for me. I'll let my kids try it, but they're not a big fan of that kind of stuff. But I figured that was the perfect size little thing of blackberries. And another thing we had where I grew up was muscadine grapes. Right across the road from where I grew up, I grew up on this dirt road, and we were the only house on the road. Right across this, the road 
from my house were muscadine grapevines hanging from the trees and you could get muscadine grapes and they have this pretty look at them they look like green pearls they have a pearly finish to them they're a little sour they have a slightly sour taste to them they're very distinct now they do have seeds these are muscadine bronze grapes from Faison, North Carolina from distributed by Cottle Strawberry Nursery Incorporated Faison, North Carolina but they're they're really good they don't have these at Aldi very often just every now and then they'll have muscadines you can make wine out of them too my parents used to make muscadine wine see we, we had well water there's no city water out there you're not in any city limits you're way out um, no trash service no nothing you just have to do for yourself we had a well and we had a well house it wasn't big it was made out of cinder blocks basically but there was a little extra room in there I hated going in there because there were always spiders in there like black widows and stuff Ugh. but my parents would take um, empty uh, big jars like pickles come in the big glass jars they would take those and make muscadine wine they would take the grapes and we also grew our own grapes three or four different varieties and they would use those to make wine as well and they would put them in the jars with water and I don't even, I don't know what all you have to do to it or I don't know but it would ferment I remember this one time they uh, they had a bunch of grape holes and they had fermented like all the fermented holes and grapes and uh, <laughs> They threw them in the chicken lot, and all the chickens ate the fermented grapes, and they all got drunk. <laughs> they were out there stumbling around. <laughs> they were fine, but they were inebriated for the rest of the evening. They all went and passed out in the in the hen house. And <laughs> I remember they couldn't stay on the perches too well. They they had a a heck of a night that night. Oh, and this is another great thing at Aldi: the pineapples. I'm going to take this and make that pineapple and cheese casserole. I don't know if I've ever shown it to you. It's very easy. It's made with Ritz crackers, pineapple, and cheese. It's not healthy at all, but it's it's good. You have the, the nice salty taste of the cheese and the Ritz crackers, and then the sweetness of the pineapple. It sounds gross, but it's actually really good. And it tastes way better if you use a fresh pineapple. Now this, this, look at this. I got this thing for $1.29. It's from somebody. I don't know who made this. Chestnut Hill Farms. And it, according to this, it's the perfect pineapple. It is very pretty. It looks like a little emoji, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, one day, uh, right after we moved here, I was going to the store and I was driving down the street and there was a pineapple sitting in the middle of the street. I felt like I was in a video game. When I came back from the store, somebody had run over and smashed it completely flat. It was flat as a pancake. I don't know why there was a pineapple in the middle of the road. That was really weird. It was just sitting there just like that. And by the time I got back, somebody had flattened it. I don't know what they ran over it with, but like a a roller or something I don't know but they squished it when you're gonna use a pineapple though if you have the chance pop this piece off right here all this pop it off or cut it off or whatever you need to do for a couple days and it will actually make the pineapple sweeter you just pop this sucker off and you can even put this top part in water and it'll regrow if you're really patient I'm not gonna do that I just pop it off and throw it away but Pop it off a few days before you want to use it, and it will make the pineapple taste even sweeter. So, that's your tip from my, my $1.29 pineapple. It's heavy. And they also had this right here, Downy Calm. It, doesn't it look amazing? This is, um, this is Downy Infusions Calm. And it smells really good. See, it has little holes in it. You can kind of squish it and smell it. Oh, it smells so good. I normally use um, the Unstoppables. Who makes those? That might also be Downy. I don't know. But this one smelled really nice. It's an in-wash scent booster. Look at that beautiful package. Look at the pretty flowers on it. 
That's so nice. It's, it has a lovely floral scent to it. This is lavender and vanilla bean. Normally I don't like lavender scented stuff, but this smells really good. It almost kind of smells like jelly beans a little bit, but it's just a little in-wash scent booster. Yeah, that was, um, they, they, um, every now and then they'll have a special purchase like that. Those were, I think, $9.94. They weren't quite $10. And I have potatoes. Look at the little baby taters. I have a little net. Look at all the potatoes I caught. <laughs> little baby taters. These are baby Dutch yellow potatoes from Melissa's. It's one and a half pounds, and they were grown in Idaho. And they were $2.99 for this little package of potatoes. I find that these are really good for making mashed potatoes with the little baby ones like this or the multicolored ones. They're really good too. So I thought I would take these. We're having chicken tonight and I thought I would make some mashed potatoes to go with the chicken. So yeah, little, little baby taters. They're cute. They're good. They're more tender than the larger ones in my opinion. <clears throat> Now, I also got some LED lights. These candelabra lights are actually for a light right above you that you can't see. It's a little chandelier. It's not fancy, but it takes these dimmable lights like this. Now, these are from Lightway. These were, this pack of two was $4.99. It has 200 lumens, gives you 40 watts of light for only 2.5 watts of energy. And it says here that it lasts for 13 years, but there are asterisks all over the place, so I'm thinking there are a lot of <laughs> loopholes to that. Um, but they are dimmable and energy saving and general purpose. So I thought I would try these. I, I bought several packs of these. I just left one in here to show you. And I got this. Now, I wanted to get a light for my, um, my outside light. I have a little, like a little uh, lamp out there, you know, a little, little lamp. So I got this LED Vintage Edison light bulb. This was also $4.99, and it's just the standard size. And it only uses four and a half watts of energy with a 60 watt output. So I thought I would try that out there and see how that works. And then like I was mentioning, we have Boulder. We have the napkins. Now we also have Boulder Smooth Slide Ziploc little resealable bags. You get 17 bags in here and they're very inexpensive. They're comparable to hefty bags. Now these are the gallon size and we use these here for all kinds of different purposes. They, they have a little grip. Each one has a little thing for easy handling. Tough on the outside and fresh inside. Protects against moisture, microwave safe, and BPA free. And it takes a while to go through a box of these, but I did notice the other day that I was almost out. So while I was on that aisle getting napkins, I went ahead and grabbed some Boulder gallon size Ziploc bags. It's really cool. Neato. <laughs> Let's see, three more things. Oh, I, got th I actually got a third thing from the, the, the German stuff. On the end of an aisle, they had a bunch of these things like this here. They have premium raisin and nut muesli. And I may be saying that wrong. It's all right. Whole grain cereal with raisins and nuts. And it's an excellent source of fiber. It looks yummy. Look at that. Oh, and they have a recipe. I just saw this. You can make muesli applesauce muffins. Oh, I bet that's good. Wow. Oh, we should make some of those. We should totally do that. But yeah, it's not a big box. It's only a pound. I mean, normally when you get boxes of cereal here and there, you know, <laughs> we like great big boxes of stuff like that. But this is not something they have all the time. Again, I think this is going to be part of their German week stuff, which is coming up, I'm sure, really soon. Um, because they've already started putting this stuff out. See? Authentic German food. And it says it right there, so it must be true. Was this actually made in Germany? Uh, yeah, it was made in Germany. Really cool. So there's that. And also on the seasonal food aisle, they have these. 
from Old El Paso. We have World Taco Kits, and I got one of each. I saw two different kinds. This is the Korean-inspired barbecue flavor. Um, I might make these instead of just regular tacos this week. The kit includes a medium sesame chili sauce, mild Korean barbecue seasoning mix, and 10 flour tortillas. So you just have to add the meat and the toppings. And I love Korean barbecue. I haven't had it in a long time, but it's really good. There, was, there used to be, there was a Korean barbecue place. I, it was either in Burlington or Greensboro. I can't remember. It was really good. But then they closed. But the food was really yummy. I have not been able to, I haven't had Korean barbecue in a long time, but it's really good. So when I saw this, I said, I would love to try that. I doubt it's going to be as, <laughs> as good, but I'll try it anyway. That's 11.7 ounces for this little kit. And they also had Japanese-inspired teriyaki. Now, these are from Old El Paso. And for the Japanese-inspired teriyaki, you're going to get medium honey soy sauce, mild teriyaki seasoning mix, and 10 flour tortillas. I've never tried that before. I, I do like, I like chicken teriyaki, so... I thought this might be really good. You can see the little, the little sesame seeds on there. It looks like. But you just add your own meat and toppings, and you can just do it any way you want to. So I'm a little bit more excited about this one, but I thought I would grab this one too, just to see how it is. So that, I think, is everything that I got. It's a lot. I really didn't go in there to, with the intention of getting all that, but... And it, it won't go to waste, I promise. It's <laughs> we've got some good stuff. So that is everything as far as I know. I don't think I forgot anything. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. We haven't done this in a while, so I hope that you enjoyed it. And I will see you again really soon.